Hey YouTube, it's that time of the week to get the eggs washed and get them ready for sale. I've been washing them by hand long enough and I'm going to go ahead and build myself an egg washer. I've been researching some techniques on how to do that and today I picked up the parts I needed for less than $25 and we're fixing to build it. Alright guys. We're going to go ahead and try to make our egg washer. I've been doing some research, reading some blogs, and uh, watching some other videos on YouTube, and uh, seeing a pattern that I like. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a PVC contraption, we're going to drill some holes in it and hook it up to an air compressor. We're going to stick it down in the water in a five gallon bucket, and then in a basket of eggs is going to go on top of that. I'm going to turn the air on, and it'll come up through holes that we drill in the PVC pipe, and it will uh, gently wash the eggs in the warm water bath. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the parts that we're going to need in order to build this. All right, the first thing we're going to need is a section of three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I bought a five foot section while I was at the hardware store because uh, I didn't have any. Uh, but we're going to cut that up. We're going to use part of it for a vertical shaft that's going to carry the air down from the top of the bucket. It's going to go into this corner joint right here. And then we're going to cut sections off that PVC pipe to run between uh, each of the each of the pieces here. So we're going to have three sections going this direction and we'll connect these pieces here these pieces here uh, So basically what we're going to need is we're going to need this three-way corner piece. You need two T's for the middle We need three corners uh, elbows for the base We're going to need an elbow to go top to go to the top this uh, uh, Vertical tube that's going to run out of this corner piece at the top. We're going to elbow and go sideways We're going to hook into this ball valve that, that's going to allow us to be able to control the air pressure that's flowing in. On the other side of that ball valve, we've got a, a three quarter inch uh, female threaded adapter. Into that adapter, we're going to screw this uh, bushing in. That's a three quarter to one in, or one quarter bushing. And then this is a, a one quarter inch quick connect for an air hose. Uh, I didn't actually buy this today. Uh, it's a couple of bucks at the hardware store. I actually had it with uh, that came with the hose kit and everything like that that uh, came with my air compressor. Um, but uh, that's what we're going to need uh, in order to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, got the pieces in the bottom of the bucket laid out uh, how I want them. Uh, we've essentially got three inches in, in this direction between the adapters. Uh, each PVC piece will actually fit three quarters of an inch deep into each adapter. So in addition to the three inches between them, I need th uh, three quarters of an inch on each side. So that's going to give me four and a half inches total running in this direction. So we're going to need three, four and a half inch pieces uh, for this side. Uh, in between there, I've essentially got uh, about five eighths of an inch long in addition to two, uh, three quarters. So we're basically going to go two and an eighth inch uh, four times to connect the adapters running in this direction and then uh, we're just going to cut this one to length so that it comes up and sticks up out of the uh, out of the bucket all right got all the pieces cut uh, i went ahead and marked the two for the uh, top to go between the uh, elbow at the top the valve and uh, you know my uh, uh, threaded adapter I, I didn't measure these these are just uh, uh, cut you know to what i thought was a decent length um, doesn't really matter how long they are. So let's go ahead and get these guys down here put together. I'm not going to glue this at first. I'm just going to fit everything together. All right, there's the finished product right there. And uh, I'm gonna get the bucket and we're gonna see if this fits down in the bottom of it. And then we're gonna come back along and we're gonna drill holes all through here uh, so that the air can come out and wash everything. It's actually pretty snug, so we'll see how it does with the air. I wanna check it and make sure everything works the way I want it to first before I get any PVC glue out and glue it. Um, but as snug as that is, we may not have to glue it. So we'll just see. Now you can see it fits down in there. Perfect, laying flat on the bottom, which is exactly what we want. 
I'm going to use a 3 16th inch drill bit and we're going to drill holes all along here. I'm not going to put any where the pipes are meeting the adapters just yet until I decide whether I'm going to glue that or not. I don't want to have to worry about matching them up exactly if we do take them apart and decide to glue them. Um, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Now I'm just going to wrap some Teflon tape around the threads here. See if my fingers will want to work the way I want them to. And we're going to thread this bushing in the adapter. We're going to do the same thing with the quarter inch quick connect. I think this one I am going to get a wrench just to go ahead and give it a good tighten down. Got it in there, got it connected, got some water in there, and I'm going to go ahead and test it real quick before we uh, put uh, eggs in here. Right now, still using the ball valve, I'm just controlling it with my air compressor knob. One thing I want to mention that I didn't mention at the beginning of the video when I was covering the parts list is a basket to hold your eggs to sit down in the bucket of water. I just picked this up at Tractor Supply. Uh, this was five of the $25. Normally I wouldn't have a use for anything like this. We just normally collect our eggs in straw baskets with a little bit of hay in them. Uh, but uh, this here allows the water to be able to circulate around and uh, hold the eggs uh, you know, pretty firmly in place as it does that. So. Uh, we're going to go fill this way with, with some eggs and uh, see how this works. Got my baskets of eggs here and I actually got about 100 eggs. There's about 60 in this uh, basket here in the front and uh, about 40 in the basket there behind it. I'm going to check and see how much water is uh, displaced by this. I may have to go add some water to this. The first time I've done it I don't know exactly how much water is in there if it'll actually cover them all up. and it does not cover them up so uh, I'm gonna go get another bucket with some warm water in it and uh, come in here and refill this rather than taking all this apart and then uh, we're gonna get this party started we want to make sure we're using warm water here uh, cold water uh, the membrane uh, starts uh, sucking in uh, all the bacteria and things like that from outside the egg and you don't want all that stuff getting on, on the inside of your egg uh, making you sick when you eat them making your customers sick so make sure you're washing with the lukewarm water doesn't have to be scalding hot but just a, a good warm warm to the touch uh, water is what you need guys got the first basket done and you see here this basket right here I've got some on the top there that's uh, that are pretty dirty we got a couple there that have got some of the chicken manure on them and then this one here had a cracked egg on it so you can see I'm sorry I'm gonna get it back in front of the camera you actually see a little bit of the uh, dried egg on that one so let's keep an eye on those as we do this All right, real quick before my battery dies. Five minutes is up. Uh, got them all washed and everything. I ended up having to turn it up a little bit. It wasn't getting it clean and everything, but now you can see that all the, this is one of the ones that had all the uh, chicken manure and everything on it. And I can't even tell which one of the eggs had, uh, was covered with the, uh, uh, the egg white from the broken egg. So pretty satisfied with it. 
that's just a piece of grass. Um, no big deal there. Uh, so, pretty happy with it. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap us up. I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. Um, you know, I'm going to have to keep getting uh, used to, you know, where I need to set the regulator to regulate the pressure uh, so that I, you know, give enough pressure to get everything clean, but not so much that it's going to cause problems and crack the eggs. You know, once I figure out what that sweet spot is and I'm comfortable with it, I'm just going to be able to put the basket in, set a timer and walk away, let it run for about five minutes, come back, change the baskets and uh, rinse and repeat, uh, quite literally. Um, one thing that I know that uh, some other folks that have done this have mentioned is putting like detergents and things like there. Uh, in the water. I'm just going to try it with water for now. I really don't want to add anything to it, any kind of cleaner or anything like that. Um, I want to try to keep my eggs as pure as possible. And as long as they're getting clean and I'm comfortable with that, um, I don't feel like I need to put anything in there. Um, I'll let you know if I end up changing my mind on that. But right now, that's how we're going to roll with it. So if you like what you saw, uh, give us a subscribe. Uh, like the video below. Please uh, comment and ask questions. We'd be uh, happy to answer them. I am a tactical homesteader. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.